Today I want to give you some tips about soldering tips. Here I have a bunch of different soldering tips. I have everything from really tiny tips, a longer spade, super thin, if it focuses, pointy tip. These just sit here. Here I don't ever use them. I do just about all my mini quad building with two tips and they are both flat screwdriver tips. This is a white one which I use for 90% of the stuff I do and then I have another flat screwdriver tip that's a little bit smaller and thinner and this I use for maybe 10% of the stuff. Everything from thick XT60 wires to the main ESC leads and everywhere else I can squeeze that tip into I'll use the wide one right and then the small flat one I'll use for the tiny bits like soldering the 24 AWG wire that goes for the signal leads and things like that maybe receivers and VTXs things like that that small tip and if I can squeeze this one in there without touching anything else, this is what I'll use. And there's a reason for it. I don't ever use the pointy tips because they don't transfer enough heat. I run my iron hot and I want heat to transfer quickly. I solder quickly so that I don't overheat the rest of the parts. And the other trick I do is I use liquid flux. With that in mind, you can build a whole quad with just those two tips. I'll see if I can find the numbers of the ones I use. I'll put them in the description so you can find them on Amazon. The exact number of the tips. These are Weller tips. So if you use Hako soldering irons, you'll have to find an equivalent. Keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and focus in. I'm about to solder in these two power leads for the ESCs. And I'll show you how I'll do it with my broad tip there. Okay. So, I'm just going to remove these for a second so I can lift the board. There. These have to be pretend still. So, I add some liquid flux. My soldering iron is running at 750 degrees. Tin the tip. There's one. There's the other one. Now we'll put them in place where they go on the board. There's one. There's the other one. I'm going to go ahead and pin it down. So they land where I want them. That's good. I'm going to hold the board down. Okay. Then I'll add more flux. As you can see here, it's kind of tight quarters, but it's enough room to run that big tip anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. Here it is, broad tip. I like to keep it clean. So here goes. Get the tip wet without touching any other components. That one moved a little, so we're going to go and shove it back in. There you go. Let's try that again. Work kind of fast. You don't want to keep the iron on there too long. That's one. And there's the other one. It's a little bit longer than I like to keep it, but it should be fine. Boom.
that one's done. So there you have it. And then the narrow tip. Both of them, as you can see, they are both flat screwdriver type tips. I'll show you the difference. And with this, I do just about everything. I was gonna go ahead and do the signal wires with the broad tip, simply because I can. But I wanna show you the uh, narrow tip in action. So I went ahead and changed it. These I already uh, put flux on it, so I'm just gonna pretend them real quick. These are TPU casing on these, so you gotta work fast because otherwise it rolls back. I normally like to work with silicon, but these ESCs came with the PVC wire, and I didn't feel like changing them this time, although I do change them often. I'll trim them to length because it rolls back a little bit. Just I see my image there is kind of burnt. I'm sorry. This is my phone. So I feel I did a much better job at placing the wires on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do the demo on this side. As you can see, the white one protrudes just a bit. The black one is barely protruding, but it is there. Trust me. I decided not to clamp it down because it's definitely put. So I'm just adding some liquid flux. Again, I'm going to use my narrow spade for this one. Maybe it's not a spade, just a flat screwdriver head, screwdriver tip. And let me see if I can work around my phone here, which is the camera. And we're going to, the important thing is to put some flux on the tip of your solder, uh, soldering tip because it transfer heat quickly and that combined with the liquid flux really helps. That was good. Let it cool. And clean my soldering tip. And we do the next one. Some solder. 